Hi everybody, AJ here, and I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you about my favorite part of Halloween. Every year, scientists and engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory take one hour out of their day to compete in the most epic pumpkin carving competition ever. And their pumpkins aren't just pretty, they're engineered. So, I thought this year, I might throw my hat in the ring, as it were, and try my hand at a one hour engineering pumpkin carving competition. Let me know what you think. All right, with one hour on the clock, I had to get moving quick. So I immediately gutted and cleaned out the inside of the pumpkin and then put a light inside so I could get a better idea of what I was doing. You'll notice that I did draw out my pattern in advance. I figured it's okay. JPL lets their engineers have a team and it was just me. I only had an hour to carve a pumpkin and make it do something cool. As I'm carving, I'm using a combination of my woodworking tools and my clay carving tools. Specifically, I'm using my V tool and my gouges a lot, which are woodworking tools designed to remove material in depth. And then I'm using a spade head uh, clay working tool to add in the depth and dimensionality that I'm looking for in both the earth and the space shuttle. This is a good time to mention that the space shuttle is my absolute favorite aerospace vehicle of all time. I think it's just beautifully designed, aesthetically pleasing, it just all around is fantastic. And I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to pay homage to those awesome engineers before. Once I got everything shaped the way I wanted to, I cut out the exhaust and you'll notice the exhaust morphs into the top because that's where I'm gonna add in um, my engineered aspect of this. With everything cut, I set the light inside and turned out the other lights to take a look at my work. This is a NASA pumpkin carving, so it's gotta do something cool. Here I'm cutting up a smaller pumpkin into eighths and cleaning out the inside. And then I'm cutting each of those eighths and shaping them into an air vein. That way I can direct air into a central column. Then on the top of my already carved pumpkin, I'm putting an aluminum plate uh, that's gonna support a fuel reservoir that's also gonna be made out of, in this case, an aluminum can. The reason I used aluminum is so that the candles inside could heat up the aluminum and help to vaporize the fuel to uh, add to the effect that I'm going for. With the base set, I started to put my pumpkin veins into place. My goal here was to direct air into a spiral around the fuel reservoir without interfering with the fuel reservoir. And then I cut out a notch uh, in each vein so I could support a Pyrex glass tube to protect my flame. With everything done, I just added some fuel and lit it up. And given I only had an hour, I'm pretty happy with this end result. NASA JPL's rules say you get one hour to carve a pumpkin and have it do something pretty cool. In my hour, I carved this space shuttle pumpkin and engineered a fire tornado out of a smaller pumpkin to go on top and uh, add some realism to the space shuttle's exhaust. Let me know in the comments how you think I did. And if you like this episode, hit that like button and subscribe. For now, I'd like to wish you all a happy Halloween and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>